Hello everyone, welcome to ETX Real Service and Repair. My name is Randy. And in this video, we're going to reassemble the Garcia 6S skirted spool reel. Did the disassembly video on it. Well, what a short video. So for to start with, we're going to reinstall this anti-reverse override system and to get started on that we're going to put a little bit of grease around this post where it sits And I'm going to try not to use a big blob of grease like they had in it. Simply because I think that was just way too much. Put a little bit of grease on this arm here. And I'm going to put some on this. And a little on the back. If I can hang on to it. Maybe I might do better to use my tweezers on this. Now we can just get that to hold right there for just a moment. We'll get some grease on the shaft of the of the main gear. And we seem to have a functioning anti-reverse override. I'm going to go ahead and put this handle back on to keep this nice and tight. And it'll keep that from coming loose by holding the main gear in place. See, you can hear it. And we're going to line that up with the back of the reel. And I'm going to go ahead and grease it and grease the teeth. Now I'm not going to put grease in every tooth. Just kind of work it around. As you can see, it's not just a big heaping bunch of grease in there. It does not take that much. And I may even have put too much. I'm going to use the spool to hold that up for a moment. And I'm going to put some grease here. 
in this cross wind. And this, this is a plastic part, and I am greasing it. It's rubbing up against a metal part. And believe it or not, contrary to what some say, it will wear. I think I missed a spot here. This is what you do. If you miss it, just take your pick, clean out your gears. And on this part, I'm going to grease all around here. Try to get some grease in that slot where the, the little clip goes through. Once again, it doesn't have to be a whole heaping bunch, but we'll get some in the pinion. And that ought to be good enough. Wipe off that excess. Right there. And with what's left on this brush, I'm going to put some inside that where the uh, pinion goes through here. And we will slide this back together just like so. Now we can take our pin which is this little fella right here and just slip it right back down into that groove well, me and my fat fingers, we can't hold on to nothing. Try this again. It helps if you get it right. Get it pushed up in there all the way. There you go. It's in there. That's, that's it right here. All right. Pinion gear is reinstalled. Now we can put the cross wind block into place. And I just rubbed off all of my grease. I don't have a lot on it. We're going to stick it on there like so. Wipe this excess grease off of my glove. And with what's on this brush, I'm going to give this shaft a light coat. You don't want to put a lot on here because uh, it'll just push it off as it goes through the pinion. And you just get it all lined up. And it goes in there like so. And you just have to find the hole. We should be close there. Can't pick up anything once you get a little with these gloves on. And once again, with what's on this brush, a little bit on that pin. Now we can put that pin in place and just hold a little pressure on it. And it is in. Okay. This is a easy reel to service. 
it's not difficult at all and I used as always I used pins precision real grease we'll put a little oil on that little clicker there and I use Lucas fishing reel oil and we have our drag washer which looks to me like it is cork put that on and you have a metal washer that has a key in it See, there's a keyway here just line that up put that on and then you can screw your cap back on and uh, we can close this reel up Like I didn't get everything off of there. There we go. Wipe that little bit of mess off. This little reel cleaned up really well. Looks good, in my opinion. And I'm going to put a little grease on this screw with just the film on that brush. And we're going to reinstall if I can find my screwdriver now. I don't know what I did with it. There it is. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to drop a little oil in here. Don't take much, just a drop. Make sure I got a drop on it, there it went. We'll work that around a little bit. And let's see how we did. Got the handle good and tight. There's our anti-reverse override. If we move it to here, we have anti-reverse override. When we move it back, there's our anti-reverse. And we got the drag tightened all the way down. Got good drag. I recommend you leave your drags backed off. Don't leave it super tight. Now let's go ahead and that little squeak that you hear, I have not figured out where that's coming from. Because I have lubricated every part of this reel. And I just don't know where that's coming from. Put a little oil in the handle there. And we have a functioning Garcia 6S skirted spool reel. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful if you have one of these reels that you can confidently take it apart and service it yourself. That's what my videos are all about. Sometimes my videos run a little long, but that is intentional so that you can see exactly how I did it, what I did, so that you can be able to service your reel because that's what this channel is all about I'm not out I'm not out to make a quick 15 20 minute video like a lot of guys do where they don't show you a lot of stuff but I want you all to see it so this is Randy with ETX Reel Service and Repair everyone have a blessed day God bless each and every one of you thank you for subscribing thank you for your comments they have been wonderful Loretta and I appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one.